everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to cover a system design basic topic called constraints analysis or back of the envelope estimation. So before we start the real content for today, I would really appreciate that if you can help subscribe this channel because it can help me to grow. So thanks in advance. Let's get started. So uh, constraints analysis or back of the envelope estimation usually happens after you clarify the uh, scope or you clarify the feature request uh, with the uh, interviewer. So it usually happens after um, scoping. And uh, why it is important? So it is important because it usually helps you to collect some numbers from the interviewer to try to help you understand what, time, what kind of a system you're trying to design because it's very different from designing a toy system, a toy, toy prototyping, with designing a highly scalable system. So um, so you will need to like spend three or four minutes collecting some numbers, do some simple, simple calculation uh, to go over the, like, the traffic analysis, uh, storage analysis, so something like that. So usually it contains the first half. It's the first part I would say it's a traffic analysis. So uh, what is traffic analysis? Usually you need to ask like uh, the number of the daily active user and also like uh, the average per request uh, per day or per, per minute from each of the daily active users or something like that. So this is trying to help us understand like the, what is the uh, QPS query per second to our service so as we can understand uh, the scale of the system we are trying to design. So in this part, uh, so for example, let's say we have uh, 100 million daily active users and let's say for the Twitter case. So for the Twitter case, we have 100 million daily active users and each user is going to give like a one uh, query uh, for the time, for one timeline query per day. Um, thus we are going to have like 100 million, 100 million, which is 110 to the power of six of the requests. So we are going to do some calculation uh, to get the query per second. So we have like uh, uh, 300, uh, sorry, 3,600 uh, seconds per hour and we have 24 hours per day. So we are going to do some estimation about this. So usually for this one, you, you see that this is three to the three times 10 to the power of three. And this is two times uh, 10. So we can do the estimation to say, okay, this is essentially 10 to the power of uh, five. So what we are having is, uh, if it is 10 to the power of five, we are targeting about one K QPS. And also um, usually we uh, need to uh, try to do some estimation about like the peak time QPS. So let's say we have like three times the, the usual traffic for the peak time, then we are having the 10, 3K QPS for the peak time. So this is essentially about uh, the traffic analysis, what it is about. So the other uh, important part uh, to first to do is like the storage analysis. So storage analysis is to, to try to help you understand uh, how much of the how much of the storage uh, how much of the space you will need uh, uh, in general to design this kind of system the system. So let's say for this uh, Twitter case, uh, we have 100 million delegated user. Each uh, is going to have one timeline query per day. Let's say we have also have one post per day. Then it has uh, 100 million uh, of the posts per day. Let's assume each of the posts it has uh, about 100 characters in average. So we have uh, this much of the uh, space needed for uh, per day. So let's targeting about uh, the next five years. So it is like 365 days uh, per year and five years. So we can assume that got this part. 365 times five, it, it is uh, estimation, it is about like 2000. So in this kind of uh, calculation, we just need to do some estimation instead of doing like uh, um, exact calculation. So over here, uh, uh, 100 million posts uh, and each is going to take about uh, 100 characters. So it is having uh, 100 million, this is uh, 
10 GB per day. So 10 GB per day times 2,000 days. So this is about uh, uh, how much? So this is 20 TB uh, for the for the next five years. So you see, uh, for the calculation, it really is about like the the estimation. Uh, so it's like 10 to the power of whatever. So it doesn't matter if it is 21 TB or 19 TB exactly. So we just uh, care about like uh, the number times 10 to the power of whatever. So this is the traffic analysis, and another uh, another different topic is about latency. So latency usually, for example, you will need to assume like, uh, for example, 99 percentage of the uh, query finished uh, within, um, let's say, 200 milliseconds, something like that. So just give the interviewer about the idea about uh, you care, you really care about latency, and uh, you ask about you try to include this in your uh, SLO or your in your uh, constraints analysis and uh, uh, in, uh, in the constraints analysis part. In the latency part, uh, one thing that is worth to mention is about um, uh, the latency from different parts. So latency can be from different perspectives. So it could be from network, it could be from like uh, the disk, uh, so the disk uh, disk seek uh, or like a uh, disk query, and also it could be from like a main memory. So um, so usually you need to understand that. Uh, uh, getting data from disk is uh, much more expensive than getting data from memory. So that's why we have the cache uh, layer uh, when we do the design, when we do the data queries, uh, etc. So the next part I want to mention is uh, the availability. So for the availability part, you will need to, uh, so it is not like um, a very hard uh, limitation about the availability so it's just to try to understand how many nines you're going to uh, include in this part so for example let's say you have uh, you, you need to make sure that 99.99 uh, percentage of the time the uh, system is available the I mean is like um, I think it's a couple hours downtime per year so something like that so just to try to collect this number uh, with the interior that's totally fine so this is uh, this is necessary. That is because we have the CAF theorem, um, which says uh, if you have the uh, network partitioning, uh, usually for distributed system, you will need to have consider that. For availability and the consistency, you can usually uh, either care availability or consistency because uh, based on this uh, CRM, if you have the network partitioning considered into uh, into the system design, and usually happens, I, I mean like 99% of the time it happens in the distributed system design. So you need to uh, you will need to have either availability or consistency, not both of them. So suppose you have a very high uh, availability, then your consistency is definitely eventual consistency. But sometimes you may be def uh, defining, uh, designing a system which uh, availability is not too much of a concern. So for example, like uh, um, the payment system, like uh, the, uh, the, the pay online payment system, uh, to design some online payment system for the bank. So availability is not that important comparing to the consistency because we don't want to uh, have two same two of the same transactions uh, to apply to the same user. Uh, so if we charge the same user twice, then it is going to be like uh, a very horrible stuff. So um, it depends on what kind of system you're trying to design. But for some system like the Twitter, uh, we usually care more about the availability, so we have the eventual consistency. So other things uh, I can think about like is like scalability. So try to maybe try to clarify with the interviewer about the scalability, uh, whether we need to usually, I mean for most of the cases we need to have like a high scalability considered in, in the design. And also like uh, for example like the durability uh, so durability is something like uh, you need to uh, consider the data redundancy, uh, whether you usually you need to have like the replication about the data uh, across different data centers, uh, something like that. 
So uh, that's mostly about the constraints analysis part. So the big, uh, so the biggest part uh, usually it is the traffic analysis and the storage analysis. For others, um, we just need to clarify with the interviewer about the target of the design. So it's like uh, if you care about the availability, then we definitely have eventual consistency. If you don't care, if you care more about the strong consistency, then availability will be lower. So it's something like that. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any question about anything, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.